Hello, I'm Dr. Hassan Tawheed once again with an amazing topic as usual, clinical trial versus observational study. Clinical trials versus observational studies. This is a very challenging topic for new students mostly. And here I am with this video to ensure that this topic is on your fingertips and you are not confused about this topic again. Let's talk about this. So what is a clinical trial? I have discussed in my previous video, clinical trial is actually an experiment or experimental study or interventional study. And what is an observational study? In observational study, you just observe. So now what is the difference? In clinical trials, first of all, first of all, you have a patient always in observational studies. It doesn't always have to be patients. It could be anyone. It could be in any field, right? So we have to first define it in a way that in clinical research, we can have clinical trials and we can, we can have observational studies. It means that we have patients involved. Yes, if we have patients involved in clinical trials, yes, we call them clinical trials. If we have patients involved in observational studies, we call them observational studies, but they all come under or they both come under the umbrella of clinical research. So remember to be a clinical research, the study design has to have patients involved. This is very important. Or ultimately, the benefit of patients is involved. If you have patients involved in a trial where you have an intervention involved, it's clinical trial. If you have observational study, you have patients, but you don't have any intervention involved, it is observational study. Now, what does that mean? I know many of you are confused, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about this. This video will finish your confusion. Let's talk about this. Clinical trials are also known as interventional studies and experiment or experimental studies. Observational studies have only one name, observational study, and they can be of three types or four types, case reports, case series, cross-sectional studies, case control studies, and cohort studies. Clinical trials are of two types, randomized control trials, non-randomized control trials. And clinical trials are also known as, as I already told you, interventional studies, and they are also known as experimental studies. Now, what does that mean? what is the main difference? Remember, let's say if I'm a scientist and I'm doing a clinical trial, that means I'm doing an interventional study. That means I will do some intervention. I will give some intervention to the patients. Yes, I have patients and I'll do some intervention. That means I will manipulate the environment. But if I'm doing an observational study, I will not intervene. I will not manipulate the environment. I will just observe. So that's the only difference but it is not that easy. So you have to be very, very attentive in this video right now about what I'm saying. Now let's see with an example. Let's say I have a medication. I give a medication to the patient and observe the after effects of this medication. Then it is a clinical trial, right? If I have a vaccine, I give this vaccine to a patient and I see the after effects of the medication. It's a clinical trial. If I have a group of patients, I give them just a glass of water and I look at the effects of water. It's again, a clinical trial. It's an interventional study. It's an experiment. But if I just observe some people without giving anything to them, without doing any intervention, without giving them anything at all, then it is just an observational study. Like in cross-sectional study, we just have a survey question and we look at the answers of the patients of the survey and we just observe the answers, that's it. We did not intervene. We did not give them an intervention. Same thing with case control studies. We just have the patients, we went into their past and we observe what happened. Same thing with cohort, retrospective or prospective. We will just observe the patients, whether in the past or whether in the future, but we will not give any intervention. But in clinical trial, we always, always give an intervention. It could be a medication. It could be anything. Anytime we give something to the patient, it's a clinical trial. It's an experiment. It's an interventional study. Anytime we just observe, it's an observational study. However, now I have a question for you. Let's say I have some survey questions on a piece of paper and I give these survey questions to these patients and they answer those questions and return those paper, those questions back to me. Now, is it a clinical trial or is it an observational study? Because I have given something to the patient now. I have given something to the patient. So is it an observational study or is it an experiment? Let's see what is the answer. The answer is it is still an observational study. Why? Because I did not give them anything to look at the effects of that thing on them. Now, how can I convert this into a clinical trial? That's why I told you to be very attentive in this video. This is going to be very, very deep. And the concept is not that easy to understand if you don't pay attention. So now if I have survey questions, 
and I give them to the patients and I look at the effects that what happened to those patients after they looked at the questions. Did they get angry? Did they get happy? Did they become calm? Did they become peaceful? What happened to those patients after I gave them the survey questions? Now I'm looking at the after effects of giving that survey sample survey question to them, the questionnaire to them. When I give that sample or the survey questionnaire or the survey questions to the patients and I look at the after effects of what happened to their mood, what happened to them? Did they get angry? Did they get hungry? Let's say I had questions on food and I gave those questions to the patients and my intention is to see how many of them will get hungry after seeing this. Now, is it an observational study or is it an experiment? It's an experiment. Yes, now it has become an experiment because I'm looking at the after effects of what I gave. So what I gave has now become an intervention. It is no more just an observational study anymore because in just observational study, you give something and they answer the questions and you receive the questions. They answer the questions and you receive the questions. So that is an observational study. So you are just observing their answers of the questions. But if you give something and they look at the after effect, if you give something and you look at the after effects of that thing that you have given to them, then it is not an observational study anymore. It has, it has become a clinical trial or ex experimental study or experiment or interventional study. That is the concept that I want everyone to understand. Now, let's take another example. Let's say I have some patients and I take their hair sample. I collect the hair sample and I have the hair sample of 100 people. I'm looking at what color of hair they have in this particular area. Is it an observational study or is it an interventional study? Because see, now I have done something to the patient. Will you call it an observational study or you will call it an experiment? What will you name it? The answer is it is still an observational study. It is still an observational study. Yes. So how do I change it to a clinical trial? Let's say the same hair sample thing, the same idea of hair sample, I want to convert this into a clinical trial or experiment or interventional study. How do I make this a manipulation or make this an intervention? How do I do this? How do I go about it? Now, listen to me, this is very important. If I have patients, I take hair sample of these 100 people and I look at if they develop any infection on their skin because I took some hair sample or did they get angry? Did they get frustrated? Did they get stressed out? Did they feel happy? Whatever. If I'm looking at the after effects on them of this thing that I have done to them, then it is an intervention. Just by taking a hair sample and just looking at the hair sample is not a clinical trial. It's observational study. Same thing with blood sample. If I take their blood sample, I look at the blood sample, I monitor the blood sample. It's an observational study. But if I take their blood sample and I'm looking at what happened to them, did they develop an infection? Now it's an observational study or a clinical trial. Now it's a clinical trial because you are looking at the after effects. You're looking at the after effects of the intervention. So I hope now the concept is clear and now you can easily differentiate between a clinical trial and observational study. So let's summarize this quickly. So whenever you intervene, you manipulate the environment and you have patients involved, you call this as a clinical trial. And if you have patients involved, you still call this as an observational study if you don't have any intervention involved or manipulation involved. So let's say you did not do any manipulation. If you give a medication to the patient and you look at the after effects of that medication, it is a clinical trial. If you just look at some people who already took some medication before you started, this is an observational study. If you took a hair sample from these people, you look at the hair color, this is just an observational study. But if you took a hair sample from these people and you look at what happened to them, did they develop an infection? What was the after effects. What were the after effects of this hair sampling or taking this hair sample? Did they develop an infection? Did they get angry? X, Y, Z. What happened to them? Now it's a clinical trial. Now it's an experiment. Now it's an interventional study. So this is how we differentiate between a clinical trial and an observational study. I hope you understand the concept. Watch this video again. And then if you don't understand, rewatch it. If you don't understand it, rewatch it and ask me the question at the bottom. I will get back to you as soon as I can. I want to make sure that you understand the concept. Feel free to ask questions. Don't be nervous in asking questions and don't shy while asking questions because the person who asks questions learns the most. I hope you learned a lot from this video. You will keep learning and keep watching by watching more of my videos and we'll meet again in another video. Thank you.